One disturbing part of the immigration debate that's been getting little coverage is the thousands of requests by men to bring their child brides to America. According to government data, in the 10 years between 2007 and 2017, there were 3.5 million petitions by adults seeking to bring adolescent spouses and fiancés to the United States. Of those petitions, nearly 6,000 were approved. The approvals are legal because the Immigration and Nationality Act doesn't set minimum age requirements, and that's raising questions about whether the immigration system is enabling forced child marriage. Frady Reese says her family forced her into marriage at age 19. She's now working to stop forced marriages. As head of the group Unchained at Last, Frady, it's so nice to have you with us. We're going to get to your story in just a moment, but the data is is absolutely stunning. In one case that was approved, a 49-year-old man applied for admission for his for a 15-year-old girl. How does this fly under the radar? It's all perfectly legal, and this is what happens when we have laws and policies right now in the United States at the federal level and in states across the United States that not only allow but even encourage child marriage. How do you mean by encourage? Well, so something like this, one of the main reasons that we see that girls in the United States are forced to marry is for immigration. So this is incentivizing forced child marriage. How often are we talking about the 49-year-old and the 15-year-old? And how often are we talking about the 17-year-old and the 19-year-old, which I think a lot of people would say, ah, you know, they're close in age, that's not so bad. Well, certainly what we have seen from the data we collected within the United States and anecdotally what we see is it's more often that it's a 17-year-old girl and a man who's, let's say, 19 or 20. So there's not a very significant age difference. It's more shocking when it's a much younger girl and an older man. But keep in mind that it's still a human rights abuse when it's a 17-year-old girl. Is the solution just saying, listen, if your spouse is not 18, don't even bother? Absolutely. There should be a minimum age to petition for a foreign spouse or fiancé and a minimum age to be the beneficiary of a spouse or fiancé visa. You need to be 21 to petition for your parent. Why can you be 8 and petition for your husband? It was surprising to me to see the states that were involved. I guess I always thought of this as an international issue that really wasn't relevant. But in the United States, I mean, I think you said the state of New Jersey had thousands of child marriages. Well, across the United States, we had Unchained at last, we did this groundbreaking study where we looked at the marriage license data from across the United States. And what we discovered is between 2000 and 2010, an estimated 248,000 children, at least as young as 12, were married. Almost all of them girls married to adult men. The shocking truth is that child marriage until last year, until mid-2018, was legal in all 50 states. And one of the things that I want to, when I talk about incentivizing child marriage, what's also important to remember is that marriage is a specific exception under the statutory rape laws in most of the United States. Right. If you're married, then the, the argument often goes, it can't be rape. Exactly. And that's true at the federal level as well. So what's happening is when um, when these marriage petitions are handed out for immigration purposes, these guys from overseas, not only do they get their U.S. visa, they get a child bride that they are legally allowed to rape in most of the United States. You were uh, in a forced marriage. Your parents had arranged a marriage for you. Tell me a little bit about your story that brought you to this work ultimately. So I know from my personal experience that a forced marriage can happen at any age. And so I grew up in an insular religious community in Brooklyn, in New York City, where your marriage is arranged for you to a stranger at a, at a young age. And I was 19. And what I saw is that once I was in this marriage and it was abusive from the first week, there was almost no way out for me because of religious laws and social customs that made it very difficult for me to leave. And so when I finally managed to leave, my family declared me dead. I rebuilt my life. I found it unchained at last to help other women. I assumed at first it would be adult women I'd be helping in the United States to escape forced marriages. And when did you realize, like, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's children? When more and more girls under 18 were reaching out and asking for the same services that I was providing to women, and I realized there's almost nothing I can do. I could be charged criminally for helping a girl who's not yet 18 to escape from a forced marriage. 
Well, the work you're doing is amazing. I'm so glad that you're raising awareness about this issue and really moving the needle in legislation as well. Brady Reese, so nice to have you to talk about this, this topic. Appreciate well, it. Thank you for raising awareness.